wants to give you good things today. It's not just in the future and it's not in the past. He wants to give you something so good today. Welcome to Godnod. My name is Casey. If you are new here, I am a Catholic YouTuber who strives to post videos to help you and inspire you grow in your relationship with Jesus and Mary. And one of the ways that I tried to do that is by posting videos to help you memorize scripture because the more we dive into the word of God, the more we have the word of God just in our minds and in our hearts, the more we come to know Christ. So today I'm going to memorize the verse Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And I'm actually going to be using the New American translation just because I really like this translation for this verse. The goal of this video is to memorize this verse and then to come to understand it a little bit more deeper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it 10 times and you are more than welcome to get out your Bible and read it through with me and join me. And then I'm going to try to say it 10 times out of memory. And then I'm going to write it down and post it somewhere in my room so that I look at it all week and have it in the back of my mind. And then afterwards, I'm just going to unpack it just a little bit to help it um, kind of land on our hearts a little bit more deeply. So here we go. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Okay, so that's just like reading it 10 times. And now I'm going to try to say it, pray it 10 times without reading it. And I invite and challenge you to do it with me. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence, do not rely. 
and all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence do not rely. In all your ways be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. So now that I wrote it down, I'm just going to hang it somewhere where I will see it every day this week so that I will continue to see it and repeat it throughout my, my day and my mind throughout the whole week. And then hopefully it will just be ingrained in my memory and I can continue to pray with it. Uh, but just to unpack it a little bit, I love this verse because it brings so much peace. Um, the first line, verse 5, when it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Um, it's just such consolation that like God desires us to trust him and that he is good. And it points back to the fall when Adam and Eve sinned because they failed to trust in God. They failed to trust in his goodness. And because of original sin, we have a fallen nature and it is so hard for us to trust God. It is so hard for us to have faith. And faith is a theological virtue. It's something we can't grow on in our own. It has to be received from the Lord. And so the more we pray and ask for the gift of faith, the more the Lord will bestow that gift on us. And so to be able to trust in the Lord with all our heart is something that is so hard to do and yet the Lord calls us to do it uh, and he will give us the grace to do it if we ask for his grace and we ask for his help but just the idea of trusting in the Lord with all our heart the Lord is constantly telling us throughout scripture that he is trustworthy that he is good that he is faithful and it's when we choose to trust him that he continues to grow our relationship and so I really love that next line as well when it says, on your own intelligence, do not rely. And for me, and I'm sure for some of you, you like to plan your life out. You like to control something. You like to have everything figured out. And as human, we it's just impossible. We don't control everything. We do not have everything figured out. And it's part of our fallen nature where things are hard and nothing will go according to our plan. And so to be reminded from God to not rely on our own intelligence because we don't see everything, only God sees everything. So that the, the fact that God knows us so intimately and knows our desires and has a good plan for us is so freeing to be able to be like, you know what, I, I desire to to plan my life out. I desire to have everything figured out, but you know what? I know that in the end, that's not the reality, that that's not possible, but I have a God who does have it all figured out and I have a God who's powerful enough to make everything good according to his good design and his good plans. And I can live freely in my day to day without any worry, without any stress, because I trust that he is all powerful, that he is all good, that he is all faithful and that he has a good plan. And that he will work out everything according to his goodness. And so remember that, that our own intelligence we can't even rely on. We can only rely on God. And so that whole verse just in itself is so powerful. Trust in him and not on our own understanding. Sometimes when we go through trials, when we go through our struggles, when we go through our daily tasks, our daily duties, some days are just so hard and things don't make sense and there's confusion and it seems like there's darkness around us. We can hold on to this truth that it is okay for us to not have it figured out and it is okay for us to be confused and for things to not make sense. 
but what we can hold on to is that God is with us and that he has a plan and he will bring a greater good from anything and everything and that he, whatever you, wherever you are in life right now, whatever state, this moment right now, you watching this video is part of God's providence and he is allowing it for a reason and by the very fact that we are in this moment right now, God is permitting this moment right now for a reason and we can just hold on to that and live in that freedom and that joy that God is bringing out a greater good from every single moment of our life, which is just amazing and crazy that God is so good and so powerful that he can do that. Um, and then that next verse, in all your ways be mindful of him. How many times when we try to take our life into our own hands, it becomes so much more stressful and worried and fearful and we try to like clench at our own at our own desires at our own the what we have planned for our life and what we desire um, or even just like our past and we can't like let go of something we just are clenching and we are grasping but when we are mindful of him and we are rem and mindful of his all his his presence around us within us holding us into existence, we don't have to be clinching. We can just let go and trust that he is with us and he is good. So the more we are mindful of him, the more we can rest in his presence and live in that true interior peace and joy. And then that last line, and he will make straight your paths. If we are mindful of him, if we trust him, if we surrender our life to him, he will make straight our paths. He has goodness in store for us. He has goodness for you today, not just in the future. Sometimes I feel like we fall too much either in the past and in the future, but like God wants to give you good things today. It's not just in the future and it's not in the past. He wants to give you something so good today. And sometimes when we fix our minds too much on the past and the, pre uh, and the future, we actually miss out what God is trying to give us today. And he has goodness for us today. He wants to tell us something today. And the easiest way to hear him today is to pick up his word and to pray with it and read it. And today he's telling us to trust him with all our heart, to not rely on our own understanding, to be mindful of him always, to think of him always, to be in constant communion with him. And he will make straight our paths. He's making straight your path right now. And he has a place in heaven for you with your name on it. And every single day, he is sanctifying you and preparing you for that place that he has for you in heaven. Praise be to God. He has good plans for you. He has good things that he wants to give you today. Trust in him. Satan wants nothing more than to destroy your relationship with him. Satan wants nothing more than to make you believe that God is not trustworthy, that God is not good, and that he doesn't have good plans for you and that he's not a good father. Renounce all those lies and choose to trust in the Lord. And if you are failing and if it is so hard for you to trust in the Lord right now, I want to invite you to pray with me right here and right now. In the, name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Come Holy Spirit, pray through us. God, I ask that you increase our trust in you, increase our faith in you. Give us the gift of faith, hope, and charity. Give us the faith that we need to grow in relationship with you. Grant us the grace to trust you more with everything, with every part of our lives, with the yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We give you our lives, Lord. We trust that you are good. We ask that you show us your goodness. Show us that you love us. Help us to believe in your great love for us, in your great goodness, in your great power. Increase our trust in you, Lord. Help us to not rely on our own understanding. Help us to always be mindful of you, to seek your will in every moment of every day, to follow you even when it's hard, and Lord, I ask that you make straight our paths. And I ask all of this in Jesus' most holy name, through the intercession of our blessed mother. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. God is so good. And I 
hope that you can take this scripture verse with you and let it just consume your mind and your heart all day. Please know of my prayers, and if you have any intentions, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to pray for you. Please know of my prayers, and God bless.